The toughest act to follow in life is a great first act, and that's exactly what the Portland State Vikings are trying to do in 2016. After a tremendous 2015 season that saw the Vikings make it to the second round of the FCS playoffs, the Vikes are trying to come back in 16 with a new energy, a new spirit, in efforts to achieve a new goal. The 2015 highlight reel for the Portland State Vikings is so full, it could be considered a small movie. Still, the team from one of America's proudly weird cities had nothing weird about it. They blocked, they tackled, and they believed in each other. And Coach Bruce Barnum from the beginning of the season. In terms of the 2016 team, though, Barnum said the same spirit and fire are still there for the Vikes. Uh, the motivations there, Ogs, I, I think it's more... As you look at us, and we have changed, every team changes every year with new in, um, the old out, but I see a little bit more attention to detail um, just in uh, where am I supposed to be, how does this work, because uh, they had a taste, you know, they had a taste, so um, it's the foundation of a program, we're not there yet, uh, but as we chase the Joneses, um, that's the, the ultimate goal, uh, is building the program. No one expected the Vikings to have the season they had in 2015, especially with a largely unproven group of players. That list was headed up by quarterback Alex Caressa, who was rejected as a passer by every Division I program in his home state of Utah. Now the challenge for the quarterback isn't just making it, it's taking his team to a whole new level in 2016. Um, you know, I think it's just holding everyone to an expectation. We don't want to let anybody get complacent, let anybody try to live off of what people have done in the past. And uh, We know the standard that we have to live up to, and so uh, for myself, I think I'm trying to hold people to that standard, trying to hold myself to that standard. And uh, to remind people, you know, the, our purpose this year. We have, we have a lot to play for, a lot to fight for, and um, sometimes you can, you can forget that in the heat of the sun or in the, you know, the bulk of two days, it can be easy to forget your purpose. So uh, we're all trying to stay motivated and to remind ourselves what we're out here for. So. Welcome inside the recently renovated Vikings weight room at the Stott Center in Portland. You know, going into 2015, there were a lot of questions about transfer quarterback Alex Caressa and then interim coach Bruce Barnum. Those questions were answered throughout the season. And it's no coincidence after going through that trial by fire that Barnum trusts Caressa so much. Uh, he's a unique personality, Oaks. He really is. And, and I didn't recruit him. Our, our staff recruited him. I recruited Madison, um, his wife. You know, I, I know if, if everything's good at home, I thought he'd have a chance. And so she was comfortable. Um, they didn't sign right away on signing day because he had other options. And he explored those, and he ended up in Portland, and uh, the rest was a, a folklore in Viking history. While the Vikings' offense made noise in 2015, it was a tough defense and a ball-hawking secondary that made Portland State a feared program. Last season, it was safety Patrick Onwasar who roamed the secondary, picking off passes with ease. This season, it's quarterback Xavier Coleman who's earning preseason hype in preparation for his senior season in the Rose City. Coleman said he's ready to have a big year this season. Yeah, I think it's more of a focus on the scheme. I'm not really focusing on making a big play or really any individual play. I noticed that you know, when I focus on the team and focus on the coaches, strategy that the plays will come themselves. So, As fall camp continues to push forward for the Vikings, the confidence of Portland pushes forward with it. However, now it's the job of the Vikings to start to figure out how they'll post another memorable story in the Big Sky Conference in 2016. Last year was priceless, but last year was like your first trip to Disneyland. You know, you're uh, it's a small world, it's a cool ride, you know, and you see the mouse ears uh, and you buy a pair for a souvenir and it's the most amazing day of your life. We're going back to Disneyland, but uh, we're going to ride the Matterhorn, you know, a <laughs> different ride. Uh, they saw the jungle ride over there between the trees and the boats and uh, that's the approach. We know what lines are short, we have a fast pass down, we're a little smarter. But how it's going to end up, I don't know. Um, that's the magic of College Football Saturday and the Big Sky Conference. Um, I'm glad uh, that I'm in charge of this school and this football team because I think we have a chance. The Vikings kick off the 2016 season when they host Central Washington on September 3rd over at Providence Park. 
The 2016 Vikings aren't trying to replicate what the 2015 Vikings did. After all, they only made the second round of the FCS playoffs. Instead, Portland State football in 2016 is trying to create new memories here on the park blocks in downtown Portland. With the Vikings at Portland State and Portland, Oregon, and the Big Sky Camp Report, I'm John Oglesby.